walking along the streets in Istanbul's Suleymaniye district, you'd never dream that this unremarkable wooden door leads to something quite remarkable. The Hilya Isarif Museum is home to a small part of a vast collection of very particular pieces of art. Pieces that combine calligraphy, religion and tradition, known as Hilyas, as well as a varied selection of Islamic prayer beads. Hilyas fall into a very specific genre of religious Turkish Ottoman literature that focuses on the physical description of the Prophet Muhammad. But Hilyas are so much more than just a written description of the Prophet. Hilya means literally ornament, and there's no denying their beauty, but there's more to them than that. These expertly crafted works of calligraphic art seamlessly mix words with clear meaning, with ornate decorative script and the imagination of both the artist and the viewer. The collection on show belongs to Mehmet Chebi, who has been building his impressive array of artefacts for more than three decades. Because I went to a religious school, I learned Arabic and Ottoman Turkish. Therefore, I could read and understand Islamic art because of the joy that it gave me. I got to know many calligraphy artists during my high school and university. While I was a student, I had many friends among the booksellers at the used book bazaar near the university. In those years, that bazaar was one of the most important places where calligraphic art was sold. I started buying some smaller works back then. After I graduated, I continued to be engaged with this type of art, and I began to make a living out of it. As he started to travel, he studied calligraphic art all over the world and began to commission pieces from artists he met. And so, he told me, he began his collection. With time, as the collection reached a serious number of works, I wanted to open a museum. No one, especially someone who wasn't rich, and started to be interested in this art as early as school days sets out to become a collector. I just started buying art because I loved it a lot. Like many collectors, he's keen to share the joy his collection brings him, not just through the museum in Istanbul, but by putting on exhibitions all over the world. We organized many exhibitions abroad in Qatar, London, Washington and many other locations. We came up with the name Ashika and Nabi, Love for the Prophet. We even had an exhibition in the Vatican about our beloved Prophet. The variety of pieces on display is remarkable. Very simple, traditional prayer beads sit alongside ornately carved jeweled ones in cases below the huge intricate hilliers. I was very lucky to have acquired art when the art market was very different, when people were not that interested in art. I acquired many pieces in those years and a collection big enough to open the museum. Although the collection on display in Suleymaniye is made up of prayer beads and hilya, Mehmet Chebi also collects other items of a similar nature. I am not only interested in calligraphy and thusbis, but in all forms of Islamic art handwritten Qurans, religious scripts, prayer books and manuscripts. But I am mostly known for my interest in modern calligraphy art. In addition, I also collect modern Turkish paintings and works from the Republican era and also paintings from the Ottoman period. A mixture of old and new, his collection now numbers somewhere between 20 and 30,000 pieces. A nice number, he tells me. Kerry Alexandra, TRT World, Istanbul.